the weight is sign of reliability. I always go for reliability. Well, I'll take it. How much do you want for it? Nothing. Okay. So what do you want for it? I want you to do something for me. Hmm. There is a fight in a couple of days. What kind of a fight? Unlicensed boxing. Uh -huh. There is a bookies I know that will take bets. <laughs> if you place one down for me, you will call it quits. Why don't you put it down yourself? Well, there is not too many bookies uh, that takes those kind of bets. And I already have uh, an outstanding debt with the house. I know something most don't. So no. What do you know? It's a campsite. The pike here. Campsite. It's them points. What are we doing here? We're buying a cow. Off a pack of fucking pikes. What's wrong with you? This will get messy. Ah, not if you're it. Oh, you bastard. I fucking hate pikes. Flash is your bite, though, is it? Who are you looking for? Mr. O'Neill. Tell me to go and get him. That's a good lad. Piss off. Are you going to go and get him for me? Yeah. And what are you waiting for? The boy could you going to pay me? Oh, fuck off. I'll find him myself. Two fifty. It's never quid. Oh, you're a real tooth fucker, aren't you? Now, there was a problem with pikes or gypsies. What are you doing, Potter? Get out the way back. I can't really understand much of what is being said. You tell me. Come back to Canada. Mr. O'Neill. Fuck, man. Tell me, Mickey. It's not Irish. It's not English. How are you? Hey, the winners been kindest for the horses, you know. It's just, well, it's just pikey. Fuck me. You just look at the size of it. How big are you? Hey, kids. How big is he? A big man, that's for sure. Hey, man. Come and look at the size of this fella. Bet you're back to the contest for. Ah. Uh, you look like a bachelor. Get out of the way, Mickey. See if the fellas would like a drink. No, I could murder one. We know more than done around here, I don't mind telling you. Get your hands out there, you silly little guy. Cup of tea for the big fella. Come on. Don't be silly, Mickey. Offer the man a proper drink, oh. right? Oh, you little fucker. Is the big fella not come home with us? No, he's more than a car. What do you think we are? Thieves? Oh, no, nothing like that, Miss O'Neill. He just likes looking after cars. Do you like dags? Dags. What? Yeah, dags. Dags? Do you like dags? Oh, dogs. Sure. I like dags. I like caravans more. You're very welcome. <laughs> now, pikers are well known for their skills in negotiation and business. It's part of the reason they talk like they do. So you can't follow what's being said. But if Tommy can get the caravan, for less than the price asked, on his return, there'll be an ice cream waiting. Good dog. Good family. Pull on to him tight. Get a little hook for you, baby. Get over it. Get a little lot. See you, boss. All right, Mickey. Right. I right, see what all the fuss is about. All right, bad fellas. <laughs> See you, boss. You bought how you saw it. Now, look. I have this much I'm going to have. You still got a car. I suggest you use it for your night welcome anymore. I think we can. We should talk out now, but you still got the legs to carry you. No, no, no. Nobody. Nobody brings a fella the size of you unless they're trying to say something they're talking. Right, bye? Sorry, Mickey. Just give us our money back and you can keep your caravan. Why the fuck do I want a caravan? It's got no fucking weed. Let's tell it to the fight. Oh, my God. Go on, anyway. Go on. Go on. Nah, nah. you fight for me. Okay, now, we're going to tell it to the way. Give it to them. Give it to them. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, for you. Fight for it. You and me. That's kind of fun, should it be? You want to stay down? Get back, 
stay down. Look at this. You want to stay down. Then I take for a half of it. You know that? Okay, guys. Get back down, or you will not be coming up next time. Oh, bollocks, tears. This is sick. I'm out of here. You're not going anywhere, you kick one. You said to the job, son. like sun lays me down with my mind she runs throughout the night no need to fight never a frown with golden brown it turns out that the sweet talking tattoo sporting piker is a gypsy bare knuckle boxing champion which makes him harder than a coffin nail right now that's the last thing on Tommy's mind Gorgeous just doesn't wake up in the next few minutes. Tommy knows he'll be buried with him. Why would the gypsies want to go to the trouble of explaining why a man died in their campsite? Not when they can bury the pair of them and just move camp. It's not like they've got social security numbers, is it? Tommy, the tip, is praying. And if he isn't, he fucking should be. <laughs>